Joining us now, Forbes Media Chairman and Editor-in-Chief, Steve Forbes, is with us. So, Steve, blah, blah, blah. Joe Biden is basically saying, I'm going to bash the Republican plan that they passed out of the House to raise the debt limit. Joe Biden hasn't put a plan on the table. Chuck Schumer in the Senate hasn't put a plan on the table. The only people that have a plan to raise the debt limit are Republicans in the House. Well, this is their whole scheme. They figure that if they hold out, the American people will blame the Republicans. That's their plan. They want to divide the party, shatter the party, the, the unity that the McCarthy has done, and say the oncoming recession, Republican fault. Uh, rising interest rates. They haven't noticed the Fed has been raising interest rates for over a year. Credit card rates are almost a record level. Credit card debt is at a record level. So all the bad things that have happened, suddenly you're supposed to forget about and say, oh, it's my, Speaker McCarthy's fault, those damnable Republicans. It's a, it's a crazy nonsense, but the, what they don't realize is the man at the top, the person at the top, gets the blame that right. the ship is in trouble, period. I would call this <clears throat> gaslighting, but that is an actual insult to gasoline and lamps. Because they do this over and over again. Yeah, gas lights before electricity was all but they had. They're, <laughs> they're threatening default, recession, 8 million jobs are going to be lost. This is Biden's economy, as may I quote Larry Kudlow, in the last five quarters, our economy is growing at less than 1%, 9 tenths of 1%, and inflation is running at 6.5%. This is all Joe Biden and the spending. No growth, inflation. And rampant regulation in a way we've never seen before. Modern socialism taking over whole industries like the auto industry, the banking industry, and then for political uh, mischief making, going after air conditions. That will get, that will really teach those Texans and Floridans attracting all these people from blue states. And so, dishwashers and washing machines. They hate big families, Steve. Oh, they, they, anything that makes life nice or uh, worth living, they want to take they, away. They're like the old Puritans. You're having fun. It doesn't down. even work. The, the whole dishwasher thing doesn't even work. No, you're it, better washing off by hand. They're, they're, they're changing the rules, though, Sean. It doesn't, currently, dishwashers yeah. use exactly the amount of water that they want to reduce it. Anyway, sorry. It's insane. And, and, and gas stoves? I, it's, uh, listen, it's ridiculous, but I want to get to this because right. uh, inflation is cooling, but not by much, Steve. The consumer price index uh, rising 4.9% and core inflation sitting at 5.5%. What's your take, Steve? Well, what's going to happen is because of the quirks of what happened last year, when in the next couple of months you had very high rates, so comparison year to year will look better for a couple of months. And the Biden administration will say, see, aha. And then when the debt ceiling crisis really explodes, then it goes up again because of the quirks of spring, uh, comparing year to year. And so that way they can say, aha, it's all the Republicans' fault. No, it's mathematical. Go down a little bit, then it's going to go back up a little bit. So, you know, so it's not going away. You know what gets me is, is Joe Biden says I've cut, we're going back to Joe Biden, but he says I've cut the deficit $1.7 trillion, and that's the spending in a year. How, how he said he cut, cut the, uh, the borrowing by $1.7 trillion. The debt has gone up by $4 trillion in two years under Joe Biden's presidency. This is historic. The spending, the deficits, the debt are exploding. And, 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 and he has the audacity to lie to us? And, and guess what? Revenues are going down. Spending is going up. So they're going to have a higher deficit this year than anticipated, and they're hoping nobody notices. But the markets will notice. And around the world, with countries in trouble, companies in trouble because they all got uh, addicted to these uh, low, low interest rates, no interest rates. Trouble is coming, but it's all, it's all Kevin McCarthy's fault. The motto here is Steve Forbes: Marxism does not work, Joe. Marxism doesn't work. Steve Forbes, thanks for joining us. Good to be with you. Thank Steve. you. Thank you for that truth about Marxism. <laughs> <laughs> Groucher Marx works. Always.